Right, here we have an equation of uh, the plane. Uh, and we've got, what we're going to find here is what's known as the normal vector equation of the plane. So, we've got the point R here, which is any point in the plane. So, we've got the vector O to R. Now, we've also got here, which you can just about see, is a unit normal vector. The normal vector of the plane, which is this orange one here, will always be perpendicular to another vector in the plane. So provided we can find another vector in the plane, and the normal vector, uh, we can take what's known as the scalar product and put it equal to zero. However, I have to start off with the unit normal vector here, which is very, very small. Okay, and the distance from the origin here to the point A is going to be the value of D. And then I'm going to now explain that in, in the next part. If I just uh, show you uh, using the uh, pointers here, I can move these around and, and achieve any other point in the plane. All the other points in the plane can be achieved like this if I'm moving these two around. Different values. We can get different values of, of, uh, of the plane. And notice at any particular point, the normal vector will always be perpendicular to this vector AR. So this allows me to get a different definition of the equation of a plane. So let's just have a look at that. So uh, if we just click here, this is the value of the normal vector. This is the current position of R. And this is what's known as the Cartesian equation of this particular plane. So we're just going to run through this here. But I'll run through it a bit more slowly for you. So going to this, let's just repeat. This is a general point in the, in the plane x, y, z. This small vector here, from here to here, is the unit normal vector. So this vector here will be at 90 degrees to this plane. This one is the actual normal vector, which in this case is minus 1, 2 and 3. And this vector is perpendicular to this particular plane. The distance from the origin to the point A, which just touches the plane, will be D. We'll just go back to our applet for a minute and we'll just rotate that round a bit. You can see, looking from underneath, from here to here is distance D. And here you can see very clearly that the normal is actually perpendicular to the plane. So, n is the normal vector, i.e. perpendicular to any vector in the plane. The particular vector we're interested in at the moment is the vector a to r. n with a little hat on is called the unit normal vector. So it is perpendicular, but it has only length of 1. Which means that from here to here, from o to a, this will be the vector d times the unit normal vector. So AR going from A to R is the same as going A to O plus O to R. Now uh, A to O is going against this vector going against the normal vector and the length of this line is D so it's D times the uh, unit vector so it's going to be minus D with a hat on, so minus d times the unit vector, plus or, and remember for or, the general point, we will always use the letter r. Rewriting that, I'm going to write that as r minus d times the unit uh, vector. Now, what I do know is that this vector here and this little vector here are perpendicular to each other. 
if they're perpendicular to each other, then the scalar product of the unit vector dot r minus d times the unit vector must be equal to zero, which is the property of the scalar product. So this is actually distributive. So I can write it as r dot times the unit vector. It's also um, commutative, so I can write them any way around. Minus d n uh, the unit vector dot the unit vector. Now the unit vector dot the unit vector is equal to 1 because the angle in between is going to be 0, cos of 0 is 1 and the magnitude of each of these vectors is 1 so this will be 1. So this comes down to r dot the unit vector minus d is equal to 0 which is r dot the unit vector is equal to d. So this is the perpendicular distance from the origin. Now r normally stands for x, y and z and this will stand for this vector divided by its magnitude. However, normally it's written in terms of just the unit vector. Uh, sorry, the normal vector, not the unit normal vector. So the normal vector is written as r dot n is equal to capital D, where this, this D no longer stands for the distance of the plane from the origin. So in this particular example, it's going to be r dot the unit vector minus 1, 2, 3 is equal to some number 12. Now this number 12, we'll look, up, look, look in a minute to see where that actually comes from. But a, a little clue, if you knew a, a particular point in the plane, this one, if you actually knew it, you could put that in for r and do the scalar product of the two and the answer would come out to be equal to 12. So, we will look at that in the next video. However, we can very easily now obtain what's known as the Cartesian equation because r dot minus 1, 2, 3 is equal to 12, and we know that r stands for x, y, z dot minus 1, 2, 3 is equal to 12. So we're going to have x times minus 1, which is minus x, plus 2 times y, plus 3 times z is equal to 12. Now normally we don't have a minus sign at the front, so we just multiply through by minus 1. So we get the Cartesian equation x minus 2y, minus 3z is equal to minus 12.